Hello everyone and welcome back to Okami. As you can see I have the life beads on and I have loads of money now. Yay! That's what I call a full moon. Come to think of it, doesn't the Kamiki Festival fall on a full moon this time of year? Oh no, they're going to finish off the sake if we don't hurry. Come on, Ami. Get the lead out. Hey. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the reflector is now my sub-weapon. Very good shield. Um, but the light bees are useful in the next dungeon, uh, so I'd keep those on. Hey, what's everyone doing in front of Susano's place? You come out here this instant, Susano. You have some explaining to do. How could you have drunk the sacred sake meant for Kon uh, Konohana? Huh? Susano did what? You can come out, Susano. We're not mad at you. Yeah, we are. You must have had some reason to drink out the ape purification sake. Uh oh, this is bad. Why would you drink all the April purification sake pops? I don't care if it's so special. I couldn't help myself. I just had to have a drink. Well, it wasn't any old sake. This isn't any old festival. It's been exactly 100 years since Nagi and Shiranu's great victory. We've even been blessed by a glorious full moon. How could you have done such a despicable thing? Leave me alone. I don't care about Nuggy and his flea bag friend. I am Susano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. There isn't a drop of ape purification sake left. Susano was acting like a madman when he returned to the village. He drank all the sacred sake then hold up in his house. All the sacred sake Kushi brood is gone. Oh, she spent ages taking that back as well. Why do you have to go and do that? This is terrible. I mean, eight purification sake is what we saved, is what saved the day in that legend. The timing couldn't be worse with the return of Orochi and all. The dreaded Orochi. It's all my fault. I'm to blame for all your misfortunes. That's right, you fool. Do you realize what a fix we're in now without any sacred sake? It was I who committed the unspeakable act at the Moon Cave. It was I who brought Orochi back to life. I have brought utter destruction upon the world. Huh? What is that fool talking about? I was sick of hearing about how I'm a descendant of Nuggy. I wanted to prove it was all a lie by removing the sword, Tsukuyomi. But the legend was true, and I've unleashed an unspeakable evil. And the curse consumed all of Nippon. This is madness! You removed the sacred swords that imprisoned the dreaded Orochi. I fled to the village out of fear. Then I blocked his entrance with a boulder and hid underground. After that, I tried fleeing here and there. But the gods would not leave me be. Ever they stared down at me. They left it to be known. I'd never be forgiven. At least, not until I slew the dreaded Orochi. I know that Tsukuyomi was removed and the moon cave vanished. But if what Susano said is true, that would mean... Orochi's rite of sacrifice. Oh dear. Guess who's gonna be sacrificed?
on the eve of the full moon, the eight-headed serpent shall appear, and the accursed arrow shall mark the home of the chosen maiden. It is exactly as the legend tells. If we don't offer the chosen maiden as a sacrifice, our entire village will be wiped off the face of the earth. And it's Kushi. Susanna, you're no coward. If the gods tell you to fight, you're the only one who can. You can do it. After all, you saved me, didn't you? I know you can do it. I know you'll come. Wait, Kushi. You're not going to. Behold, my thunder brew. The great Nagi intoxicated Orochi and defeated him. My sake is my life. Surely it can intoxicate even Orochi. Hey, Kushi, wait! She's not going to take on Orochi herself, is she? No, Kushi, wait! Oh, I'm Orange. Come with Susano, Kushi believes in you. Let's go after her. Wait up, Kushi. You're not going alone. Aww. You're okay, sweetie. Don't try to stop me, Isan. Or you, Snowy. If Orochi's chosen victims runs away, disaster will befall Kamiki. But that's not why I'm doing this. What? There's too much suffering in the world. I'm going to use my sake to rid us of this evil menace. Are you crazy? We're talking about the dreaded Orochi here. The attitude's gonna get you killed. You really think you'd win with a ju little jug of sake? Yes, his son. I guess I am crazy. But it's the only way. I'm going, and I'll defeat that monster with my sake. Or, uh, we'll just bite you. Not you too, Ami. Dang it, why are you getting all worked up? There's no hope of winning. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Oh my god! I can take him on. Killed him once before. Do it again. So yeah, we are now off to the moon cave. Uh, by the way, if you do encounter one of these scrolls, it doesn't really matter. Um, because Kushi will disappear and I... I'm going the wrong way. Oops. <coughs> okay. Oops. This way. Yeah, Kushi will disappear, so it'll just be like a normal fight. Oh, hello. Kushi, what on earth are you doing? I heard a deafening peal of thunder from the village just now. Believe me, this is no night to be wandering about outside. It is the perfect night for a sacrifice. This place could not look any more evil than it does. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. It still looks pretty beautiful though. <laughs> In that kind of evil way. Ah, oh, look who it is! I knew you'd come, Amaterasu. I take it you enjoyed your rendezvous with this sacrificial girl, eh? Blimey. 
None of your business, you half baked prophet. Hey, that's a serpent crystal he stole from us. Well, the moon cave is open. You played your part. Now leave the rest to me, Amaterasu. Why are you? What's the meaning of this? Meaning? Hmm. Does the saying, like a moth to a flame, ring any bells? I mean, you went in on your own accord, no? Of course, only one other besides the victim is supposed to get in. I guess you really don't count, my little bouncing friend. <laughs> Dang it! Looks like we set up again, Amy. But were you not planning to enter the cave anyway, my sherry? It is time for you to shine, Amaterasu. Now let me leave you with this little prophecy. Look, the moon, the moon, the moon came out. <laughs> Pardon, my sherry. That wasn't a very good one. Au revoir. No oh, thanks for that. Bah, guess we're stuck here. But we were planning on taking care of that Orochi anyway. Cut it out, Ami. It's no use. Let's go check the place out. Aww. Guess we're stuck in here. Looks like a friendly place. Mm. Okay then. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Amy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Sorry. The place is affecting me. Um. Huh? Oh, great. The stairway has crumbled away. God or not, this is just too big a leap for you. We'll either have to find a way around, or we can go our way. You know, our way. So obvious. Is that a saying of mine? Leap before you think. I know it'll take a lot of guts to do that now. Can't I just, like, rejuvenate it? Rejuvenate it. No, I guess it's cursed. Come on then. Our way is obviously Ezio's way as well, apparently. Whoa, that was quite a fall. Oh. What are we gonna ourselves into this time? 
Well, now that we're down here, I I hope you can sniff out Kushi's whereabouts, Furball. Hold it right there, Fluffy. What do you think you're doing? What business do you have at the Moon Cave? Stronghold of our master, the Great Orochi. Over there! Oh, you! Therefore, I see your face here. I can spot you a mile away. Well, I am a wolf. You fix it for a fight, you chumps? Well, we don't have time to mess around with bit players like you. But if you insist, then hurry up so I can cut you to shreds. Well, you're just a dumb old wolf, huh? Yeah, look at that foolish mug. You've got to be the dumbest looking wolf I've ever seen. And to stray so far into a place like this, you're not too bright, are you, champ? I don't think Fluffy here is much of a threat. Let's not waste any of our time here. Yeah, I wonder if Fluffy's just hungry. Mm. I like food. Um. I think you can get stuff from some of these. Um, yeah. Fight camera. Oh, Kushi. Hey, isn't this that babe Kushi sake? Hmm, there's still some left. But I'm not sure it'll be enough to take care of Orochi. It'll be fine, I'm sure. Oh, fruit. Uh, so there isn't actually any stray beads in the either the calcified cavern or the moon cave. Um, there's some cool treasures you can uh, you can get. One of which is very important for the fight, but I will say when we get there. Uh, so, yeah. Right. So this is a uh, black imp. Uh, just he's weak to bombs and the ink, as you can see. And just really try to um, uh, yeah, try to get those flaming skulls of his away first. And he's very easy to get the blue fangs from and you get three of them for each black imp so uh, if you can grind on them that will that's really good for uh, what am I saying yeah for getting blue fangs if you need more you know what I mean okay so we've got a mask hey this is one of those masters imps where this was so plain no design on anything of course any respectable artist can't resist a blank canvas I mean, you just want to paint something on it, don't you? Hold on a sec, Furball. I'm going to spiff it up a bit. Okay, so you can kind of draw your own thing. Um, I don't know. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. <laughs> Beautiful. I, I accidentally let go. I was going to draw something. Amazing. Never mind. Oh, okay, so this is what we've got to put up with now. <laughs> Yay! No, I don't. <laughs> it's not, it wasn't going to be that amazing. I don't want to draw a face, I want to draw like a pattern. <laughs> I don't even know what I am doing.
That will do. I like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but I want to paint some more. Oh yeah, I forgot about Kushi. I forgot about Kushi whilst I was painting. Um, okay. Let's go then. Back to the imps. And then I will probably end this episode because this has been going on for quite a while I think this episode hmm what are you doing here looking for intruders there's a silly looking wolf a while back but nothing else out of the ordinary we've got this place covered get back to your post now post what post the sacrificial ceremony for the Great Orochi is to be held today. Everything's, everyone's busy getting ready. There's no time to play around. What are you waiting for? Get in there and help. Oh, uh, okay, I'm on it. Thanks. Thank you, ink dudes. Some epic colluding music right there. And here we are at the moon cave. Glorious! Okay, so next episode we will be exploring this cave. See you then.